Hello to my Taurus. This is Queen Emma Rod coming to you with your general reading, Taurus. Let's go. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards, Taurus. All right. So we're closing out this cycle. We're in a waning crescent moon phase. We only have a few more days in this cycle. I think um, September 1st ends this, closes out this cycle, ends this cycle. So this video is for the um, 30th of August through um, September 6th. Let's get into it. I've already prayed over your cards. I already asked source for clarity in every area of your lives. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what is going on. Let's see what's going on in your cards. All right. Um, some kind of money is coming through. Some kind of money is coming through. Um, yeah. So, Six of Pentacles. But first, okay, so some kind of an approval is happening for you all. Um, but first, you're going to have to stop looking for other people's approval. Just because that everything is energy, and that energy of looking for other people's acceptance and approval is actually blocking somebody's money. Here we have the Queen of Wands here. Queen of Wands here. And then also the Ten of Wands. I see some kind of rebuilding happening. And I'm talking to you wherever Taurus is in your birth chart. Here we have the Five of Swords. Somebody is kind of like at a... Um, kind of at a... Um, kind of like, I want to say the crossroad. Like trying to move on from something. Possibly somebody may have said something scathing or could have burned you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. If somebody is trying to move on from that. But you have a guardian angel that's going to help you with something. You know, and they're trying to teach you to how to keep people out of your business, Taurus. You know, because somebody doesn't realize that when people get information and they give you the cold shoulder, they're on an assignment from their from the devil, right? So it's whatever crack is in their foundation, they're hosting the devil in their body, their physical body, right? So they're hosting their their demons have been awakened. Once they once they feel like, okay, I can get some information from Taurus then I can use that for something that's going to get them some more money or whatever. But it's like energy's jumping between, you know, from your house to other people's house, getting some information. Your house would be your physical body, right? Where you're, where you're, like when you think about what's inside of a vault, you may have an abundance of peace, joy, love, um, whatever, whatever you can think of what's inside your vault. So people who are running back and forth, running to and fro, sound very much like the devil, right? And Job, like just running to and fro, trying to get information from you about other people. Source is saying to you, you're going to have to learn how to tell, start telling people, if you want to know, ask them directly. <laughs> like somebody's going to have to start doing that. Like instead of just, well, I'm just completely just not reading energy because you're still looking at what you see in the physical how that can affect somebody in the workplace is like, and not, you not being used is like if a manager or somebody, because I'm seeing some kind of increase in your money coming, right? So somebody coming to you asking you questions about, well, you know, I know you, I know you and so and so go to lunch every single day, you know, so what's going on with so and so? Like, you know, asking you questions, right? At some point, somebody's going to have to learn. If you want to know, ask them directly, right? So it doesn't seem like you're the one who can't be trusted. And that's what Source is trying to help somebody. He's like, you know what? You're going to have to ask them directly. You're going to have to ask them directly. I'm tired of running back and forth. When I get information, then I'm getting the cold, I'm giving the cold shoulder again. You know, that has to be disappointing. That's what somebody is not seeing here right somebody is asking you some information somebody is asking so aries leo or sagittarius is asking you information about somebody and as soon as you they get what they need they give you the cold shoulder again because they don't value you and they don't see and you don't see what they're doing right they're talking about somebody who is possibly rebuilding something so how are they rebuilding what's going on in their house do they have a house do they have a car what kind of job they have like somebody is not getting it <laughs> And so it, it makes you look like you're the person who is betraying somebody who is giving you access to their information or access to their vault door. And see how these two people have moved on? You're, every time you try to move on and somebody comes to you about somebody else, you're trying to, it looks like you're the one that is the betrayer. 
that's what somebody is not seeing so a guardian angel is helping you to see like read energy because snow is a form of water too like so that's it's in a, it's just coming in a different form and so every time somebody gets something from you that you're looking for it's two of them every time they look every time they come to you for information oh you talk to so and so so what did you all talk about and what's the plan and this and that why won't they go directly to them somebody's gonna have to wake up somebody's gonna have to wake up or else you're gonna find yourself taurus in situations where you feel like people are betraying you and they looking at you are the person as the betrayer so that's what source is trying to help somebody it's like if you just keep yourself out of it like listen you want to know you ask them directly i don't want to be burned by people i'm not trying i don't know the confusion i'm not i don't feel like i'm knowing everything why you keep asking me about people so that's what source is trying to help you with yep demonic bond see this right here and it's that main, that's that first leading card there, looking for other people's approval. So I got to stay connected. But see, Source is saying it feels like you have a devil on one shoulder and an angel on another. So you don't really know which, what to believe and what's going on. All you need to, all you know is that you don't have full working knowledge of something. And so Source is saying it's better for you to stay out of it. It's better for you to stay out of something and just pray. Just pray. Pray for clarity. It's from clear water. Pray for clarity instead of icy water, snowball water, right? So here we have the Knight of Swords. That's what Swords saying. Get as far away from something as possible. Knight of Swords. That's how you're going to save yourself. Get focused about what's going on in your life to keep your peace because Source is trying to give you some rest. If somebody got an issue with somebody else, I don't care how long you've known them. I don't care if they're family members, whomever. You may want to say, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm whatever, or like family or whoever. So saying, stay out of it so you can get some rest yourself. You stay out of it. There could be uh, another Taurus. There could be a Capricorn. There could be a Virgo. There could also be a, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius involved in something that's trying to connect you with some kind of demonic bond, like basically trying to attach you to their demons. Here we have the two of this. That's right there. That's you. Somebody get ready to take a trip. Somebody get ready to go travel, do something, and just get away from all of the drama. That's what I'm seeing you traveling, like you could be traveling the globe. Something is happening for you because Source is saying, you should be at this point motivated by something else other than chaos, confusion, um, uh, trash talking, all of that other stuff. Some source is trying to increase somebody's wealth. Even sitting there for five seconds could mess up your money. Five seconds sitting there listening to people trash talking about other people, what kind of house they live in, what zip code they live in, how they make their money. Sitting around listening to familiar spirits, that's the part that somebody doesn't understand. It's going to burn you in the long run. That's what Source is trying to tell somebody, Taurus. Yeah, here's a strength card. Yeah. Sitting there listening to familiar spirits is going to burn you because they like to get familiar with people real fast. The Leo could be involved in something. They like to get familiar with people real fast in order to find out what's going on in people's houses, how much money they make. That will burn you in the long run. Guilty by association. So it's just trying to give you some rest. So it's just trying to give you and somebody some rest. And break these demonic bonds. And demonic bonds are just like, like I said before, in this case right here, misery loves company. So people are so miserable themselves. They're so busy judging, competing, comparing with everybody else that you don't see that you're the one that's being used. So Source is trying to use you to be compassionate towards yourself because people have done the same thing to you. They've gotten familiar with your information, how you make your money real fast and turn around and burn you, Taurus. That's what that's the part somebody is missing. This has happened to you. This has happened to you. Somebody looking for acceptance and approval so bad, people have burned you, Taurus, and now you are being used to burn somebody else. And see, when you come up out, and this was like being in a demonic bond. It's a, it's a karmic cycle. And so when we're talking about this, this super blue moon that we had in this cycle, this is how you're going to finish out the cycle strong. It's going to be this crystal clear to somebody. Something about every human being is rare, only comes around once in a blue moon. And that's what people are discovering. So for you, 
you're no longer looking for people's acceptance and approval. If people are coming to you asking you about trying to get familiar with other people's information, you are going to start saying, I don't know. If you want to know, you'll go to them directly and ask them directly. The end. There's a reason why people won't come to you, didn't come to you directly to ask. They ask all around you. So what do you know about, what do you know about Taurus? They didn't come directly to you because their intentions are not sincere. And then that caused you to distrust some of your friends or some people that was close to you, a family member, because you just like, you're like, um, what in the world? Like, you know, innocently just people just talking, right? And so, but once you sit down and pray to God, most high God for clarity, source will clear it all up. Did somebody say something about you intentionally trying to hurt you or was some, and that happens too. So that, that part, you know, sometimes people do say stuff, they'll gossip about you that could be family members or like family will talk negatively about you and people assume, Oh, they, they must, they, they known them longer than other people have. So they must, there must be some truth to it. Source is trying to get you to wake up Taurus and stop talking altogether. Like, listen, if you want to know, you ask yourself and that should be a prerequisite for everybody around you. If somebody wants to know something about you, they need to come to you and ask you directly. So you're leaving it behind the circus. You you leaving behind a bunch of chaos and confusion and just drama. This planet Uranus is going retrograde on September first. It is the planet of change, liberation, liberation and freedom. That is how you're going to free yourself. I just gave you the clear and concise answer. There should be no confusion because Source is trying to increase your money, and so the more and more you are around familiar spirits and they're very dangerous they're getting more familiar with you but they'll also turn around and use you to get more familiar with other people because they have an agenda they have an agenda and in this case in your reading is for them to gain some money here we have the um the empress card here so yeah, so somebody wants to get familiar with your mom or your dad. They want to get familiar with something. And I'm talking to you wherever Taurus is in your birth chart, not just your sun sign. I know people come to tarot, they just want to write, look at this sun sign. They don't even consider their moon, rising, Venus, and all, I mean, it's, it's all pieces of a puzzle coming together. So somebody's going to start looking at tarot very differently because it's just pieces to a puzzle. Asking about your love life, your home life, family life, all that. We're talking about all the houses here. So that's why I don't just speak to just your sun sign. I'm speaking to every placement where Taurus is in your birth chart. Um, but that's what it is. Like somebody wants, somebody wants to, somebody got familiar or wanted to, wants to get familiar with your bloodline, your family, whatever, to somehow use it against you, right? Um, and so now somebody is using you to try to get familiar with other people's bloodline. And again, it's a lose, lose whenever you're being used. It's just, it's just a, and so you'd rather be used by source. So it's just saying it's a so that's why somebody's getting ready to take a trip, take a vacation somewhere. That's the reason why somebody's about to take a trip, get ready to take a vacation, do some traveling, so you can learn how to get your power back. You can learn how to get your power back. Because somebody is still stuck on this. If I don't see it, I don't believe it. When that how why do you pray? Like for real. Like if you're not a believer in source, why do you for some people whoever's praying, why who are you praying to? What are you believing in? That's who your creator. That's who you should be going to for clarity and going to for answers. So yeah, the tower moment is happening here. Some kind of an awakening is happening for you. It's like somebody being struck by lightning. Like get back in focus. There's an Aries involved in something. So you got all the fire. You got Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries hidden in here. And also Scorpio is also there as well. But Source is saying you are leaving something. A, a, a Capricorn could be involved in something. Um, but anyway, Source is saying you are you are leaving all of that behind, like being in the middle of something. So Source can just get you some rest. You and somebody needs to be, it's some rest that needs to happen. So you and somebody will be resting. Finally, just getting some rest, putting some stuff to rest and so you can move on. So, but yeah, um...
Yeah. It looks like it's just a lot going on in the cards, but somebody just was not seeing that the same way that people have used other people to get to you to increase their money. Somebody is using you to get to somebody else to increase, you know, it's like I said, you're just being used. I mean, it's just like I said, somebody just doesn't see how they're being used. And it's two energies that's using you. Three of Swords, Knight of Swords, the Devil card. Here we have the um, Four of Pentacles, the World card, and also the Five of Cups. Yep. So I'm almost de using you to demonize other people when really this is the carnal mind and this is the flesh. God created the devil. So, so it's just saying it's two energies who are overtaken by their flesh. Is the World card, which is retrograde. This is Saturn, which is retrograde. So there could be an Aquarius somewhere involved because Aquarius is ruled by those two planets there. Um, here's the Knight of Swords here. You know, so Swords is saying what's happening with somebody is, hold on, let's add on this up. Five, four, nine, eight, seven. Okay, um, seven, ten. Okay, all right, got it. All right. Here we have the Four of Pentacles here. Not only is trying to source you trying to tell trying to help you strategically keep people out of your business, but that should be a requirement for everybody who wants access to you, Taurus. Is like um here we also have the five of cups. Um, because everybody that wants a part of being inside your vault door needs to be on the same sheet of music. If anybody wants to know about anybody that's going on in here, like instead of people gossiping and just taking trash back and forth, the gossipers in your circle need to go. It's just, it's no other way because that's, they're motivated by something else. Like they're motivated by wanting to be accepted and being approved, right? So something is, this is, this is what's being exposed. When you're dealing with pick me's, that's what it is in your car. It's a clarity who have been hurt, constantly hurt, and people are not reaching down to help them to be better, right? It, it, and I can, I can see how that could easily slip up under a radar, right? But looking at your cars here, Source is trying to help somebody to learn how to rebuild just the way you think, like restructure the way that you think. So somebody could have somebody that's a family member or like family or whatever the case may be, like somebody related to you or like, like they may not be blood related, but they may be like family to you that wants so bad to be accepted and approved in that they try to project that on everybody else. That's what water is. Water is very reflective. They always feel like they left out of relationships, like people have hurt them or somehow hurt them in some way, shape, from a fashion. That as soon as somebody leaves them or move on for life, they go right into acting like somebody between the ages of one and seven. They throw tantrums. It's their way to the highway. They're going to make something that's not true. I mean, and you've experienced people doing that to you. So now you're on the other side of it. Where you're like, okay, I'm kind of confused. I have a devil on one shoulder and an angel on another. So it's just saying, now it's time. Now Saturn is going to make sense to you, right? This The planet of matu maturity and authority. But it's also about setting boundaries. I'm telling you, Taurus, it's going to start clearing a room. The word no clears the room. When you start telling people, I don't know, if you want to know, ask them directly. Ask them directly. And you say the same thing for everybody that's in your group. Ask them directly. You want to know something about somebody, go to them directly. They're going to be saying, you're going to start seeing a different type of a spirit come out of people. Like, what? Well, what's the big secret? So, well, you holding on to secret? How come you won't tell me such? I thought we was close. I thought we was family. I thought we was like family. I'm telling you, source is smoking something out. Something is source is making something crystal clear to you. Something making something crystal clear to you. So whether so, uh, like like I said, you get some kind of money is coming across your path, but it's coming from source. It's coming from source. So what happens is a lot of times people will look for money to come from one thing. You'll feel like okay, somebody burned me. I'm getting money from them, and God is like, but it may not have been intentional. So you're so busy looking over here for something where sources say, no, I need you to look over here. I need you to pay attention to this. 
So source is going to, that's what you're having a tower moment because source is going to break you out of that. I, I don't believe something unless I see something. So much better lies ahead, but it's time to heal your wounded self. That's this right here, your wounded healer. That's your Chiron, which is currently retrograde because it's time to open your third eye. You are protected and loved. Yep. Yeah. And, but you're not going back to that person. But somebody is still telling lies about you, but you don't care. And it's somebody that's connected to you, like family or like family or something. Somebody is still telling lies about you, but somebody is also in a crisis. So, I mean, it's just so many signs around people. I, it's time to ground yourselves. Yeah, but treat yourselves to a spa day. It could be an earth sign, you know, so or somebody who's on the cusp of an earth sign, like a Taurus slash Aries. Right, that could also be on the cusp of that as well. It could be an Aries or a Taurus slash Aries, but somebody is like I said, treat yourselves to a spa day. Your ancestors are very proud of you. Trust your first mind. The answers you seek are coming. You have the gift of clear cognizance, that psychic knowledge about other people. But what I say, there are signs all around you. Signs all around you. Somebody wants to call you, but they haven't changed. Your next love interest. Um, will make you happier, but somebody that has a cambian spirit and um, somebody's not happy without you. Somebody's not happy without you. So somebody's going to wake up. Somebody is going to wake up. That's how people, um, you know, that's how people feel like they betrayed by their friends or loved ones or just betrayed by complete strangers that don't even know what the heck how they feel like they were betrayed. Like, that's how people miss things because they don't create and enforce boundaries. Sources are going to make sure you're financially independent, but this time it's not going to take you that long when it comes to um, figuring things out, that cold shoulder. Somebody will get it. Somebody will get it. It's going to start making sense to you. So yeah, somebody's having a tower moment right now. Somebody's having an awakening. Here we have 333. Three, three. I am powerful. So you are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker. This keeps coming out. Assisting all of humanity. Live your truths and be a positive light to others. Yeah, you, you got to live your truth. Whatever that truth may be. Sexuality, sensuality, creativity, whatever life you created for yourself, you know ancestral line you got to live your truths there's too many pluto is restoring balance to mother earth right now so balance is being restored and so many people have loved ones that's connected in other parts of the world that people don't even know about or not connected to sources of saying to you that's what somebody's gonna be traveling like you're gonna be traveling to find out like the connections that you have not this pettiness where people are gossiping and running back and forth between your vault and other people's vault, using you, using other people. So it says, stay out of something and just move on with your life. Move on with your life. All Everything is being exposed. Everything is being exposed. Because through prayer for inner, uh, prayer is very powerful. Prayer for people. Prayer to your creator, source is going to set you apart. That's like I said, something about you comes along once in a blue moon. And you're going to start saying, wait a minute, I'm saying, okay, with the energies that I'm familiar with, I've been around them for a long time. Something about their spirit is something just keeps coming up in my spirit about them, right? Let me pay attention to this. Let me start paying attention to something. King of Swords here. That's your wisdom. You're sitting on your throne. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. You're using godly wisdom now. Ten of cups here. Some kind of balance is being restored. Some kind of balance is being restored. So here we have the um, four of cups here. Yep. So your wishes are going to be, your wishes are being fulfilled. Balance is being restored within Source is connecting, making divine connections for you. Source is making divine connections for you so that, you know, you can come out of the book of lamentation. <laughs> you can stop lamenting over stuff like, I just, well, I can't figure it out. Well, what is it? I don't really know. I've known. I, you know, I, the more and more I'm seeing stuff that pop up on social media, a lot of people are starting to say, I don't care if you my day one or not. 
I don't care if you're my day one or not because it really is about people. It's about frequency. And some people are still stuck to this idea. Whatever idea people are stuck to. But source is saying to you, you're, you're learning. You're learning. You're starting to figure some stuff out. Starting to figure some stuff out. But when some people feel like they're rejected, they go on a whole... Um, they go on a whole, you know, they you start seeing an obsession happening. You start seeing some kind of an obsession happening. Maybe that's something somebody needs to start paying attention to. Obsessed spirits. But your hard work is paying off. Your hard work is paying off. All right, your hard work is paying off. Yeah. So some kind of increase in your money is coming across your path. Um... We're going to increase in your money is coming. So here we have allowing radical acceptances. Yes to reality in any given moment so that what's needed can come next. Yeah. So some kind of increase in your money is happening. So look at it. It's coming from source. Don't be looking at it in a physical sense because money is a form of energy. So it's going to increase your bank account. Looking at your cards here is increasing your bank account. But if you're still looking in one direction because you're still looking for people's acceptance and approval, then you, you're taking up space in your own universe. There's eating up space in your own universe. And so it said, I'm trying to give you rays over here. You're still looking over here. Like, I'm still waiting on this to come through. I'm still, and so it's like, uh, I already gave it to you over here. Like, what are you doing? I need you to rejoice with this increase over here. Are you still waiting for it over here? Well, somebody owes me some money and somebody did. So it's just like... But I just gave you this over here that's in, enlarging your territory and I'm increasing your wealth and you still stuck over there. So it's just saying, okay, all right. I treat my body with love and respect. I release the need to control the people in my life. That's what I'm talking about right here. Another thing is that you are starting to see people who are trying to control people. Like see people as they have that spirit of like, I got to I gotta hold on to people. Whether it's I got I to gotta hold on to like this is... I've been hurt, so I got to hold on to something for the rest of my life instead of operating in the spirit of forgiveness and love and seeing. We're talking about this is air, this air of just I got to hold on or control people in my life by any means necessary. I give thanks for the abundance of peace and joy that is flowing into relationships. That's it. It's all kinds of signs and clues. Some people, like I said, they feel like they got to hold on to people's you know, knowledge or information about people. And they just obsess. And it's just exposing every obsessed energy. Here we have zero, zero. I am observant. Angels ask for your attention. Open your eyes and listen and think about everything that is happening. Trust your intuition and follow their guidance without any delay. Focus inward through meditation and prayer. That's what I have for you. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you in the next reading. Bye.